Hi, I'm attorney Gregory Dell, and I want to spend a few minutes talking to you about the medical condition known as Meniere's disease and how that relates to either a short-term or long-term disability insurance claim. Now, I've represented probably approximately 100 people who have claims for Meniere's disease, which is, as you probably know, an inner ear disorder. The most challenging things that I see from a disability insurance company is that People who suffer from Meniere's often don't have continuous problems. It's usually episodic issues that come up that then become disabling, actually to the point where many people can't even get out of bed for sometimes hours to days at a time. What disability insurance companies say is, well, I know there's some tests that can show that you have Meniere's because there's a variety of different diagnostic tests you can have and not necessarily saying per se, this is Meniere's as much as they say, yes, you have vertigo, yes, you have some balance disorder issues, yes, there are certain movements that can cause you to go into an episode, but nobody really knows what causes Meniere's. So because of that, the disability insurance companies will often take advantage of that. And what they'll do is, as you know, when you have a Meniere's episode, you're incapacitated. But the other times, you could be functioning normally. So. They may go ahead and get you under video surveillance and see you going to the grocery store, pumping gas, or going to the movies, or going out to dinner and saying, oh, you're walking normal, you're able to carry something normally, you're able to drive a car, so you should be able to go to work. But what happens with someone with Meniere's is that you don't know when that episode is gonna happen. For example, this one's more extreme. I've represented numerous pilots who have Meniere's. Obviously, we can't have someone who's gonna have a condition where they feel incapacitated, the room is spinning, their balance is off flying an airplane. That goes without saying. But what about the numerous business executives that I've represented and our firms represented that have, that have Meniere's disease and have episodes where they just can't commit to meetings, they can't commit to scheduled appointments, they can't commit to going to the office every day and focusing on what they're doing because of the fact that some of these people on a daily basis they never know when they're going to have an episode. And when they do have an episode, they're laid out for days at a time where they simply cannot function. So Meniere's disease is a very, very serious condition. And the fact that it often brings about unpredictable attacks is what makes a person unable to commit to working eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. When we work with you and represent you, we look at what your occupation is and how your disability insurance company defines the definition of disability. Because if you have Meniere's and you're under the any occupation dis definition of disability, then the insurance company is going to say, well, we think there's some occupation that you could do. As opposed to if you had an own occupation definition of disability, then the disability insurance company is going to have a lot weaker argument to be able to say that you can go back to work even though we understand that you're going to have episodes. But a lot of disability insurance companies don't understand Meniere's, and because of that, it's very important that you hire an attorney who has represented people who have that condition, who's dealt with nu numerous ENT doctors who treat this condition, and understands exactly what it is and how to prove to the disability insurance company that you are, in fact, disabled by Meniere's disease. So if you're considering filing a claim, or your claim's been denied and you need to file an appeal or a lawsuit, feel free to give us a call. We'll review your disability policy. We'll review your claim at whatever stage it's at. And we'll be able to let you know basically right away whether or not we think we'll be able to assist you.